So I just, I cried and I prayed and um, nothing changed that night, but the next night I got completely just plastered um, on a bunch of different drugs all at the same time. And little did I know, I think that was God's plan for me um, because I overdosed the next night and got rushed to the hospital in an ambulance. And I woke up the next morning I'm feeling like just conflict, like I wasn't hungover, I wasn't, didn't feel sick, I didn't feel, I felt rested, I felt just, I don't even know how to describe it other than I felt like a new, like, like a new person. I asked the, the doctors, what did they do? Did they pump my stomach? What did they do to me when I was sleeping? And they said nothing. They just let me sleep it off. They didn't touch me. Um, so I knew that the way I was feeling was no other reason than I had been changed. And so I just knew with everything that was in me that that God had just like healed me. He like, he just took it away. Cause I woke up and I, I felt like I never wanted to touch the drugs again. The only thing I wanted to do was go home and get on my knees and thank God. Because I knew that, I knew that it was gonna change, that life was gonna change for me and that he heard my prayers. And so I did, I went home and I prayed and I, I thanked him and, um, and I didn't, I didn't touch, I didn't touch another drug for 10 years. Um, especially, I've never touched that drug again. I didn't drink anymore. Uh, I started going to church. I, um, I started my fitness journey, which is where this is gonna start coming into play. Um, I got some really good advice from somebody when I first got sober and they said, if you have a craving or if you're having a hard time with something, walk out your door and just go for a walk. Just just walk. And, and by the time you get back home, that craving will be over. And lo and behold, they were right. So I would just go out my door and go for a long walk, whether it was a craving, whether I was just feeling lonely, whether I was, you know, whatever, whatever it was. And so that walking turned into running. And I mean, I would run for miles and miles and miles and just connect with God. And, um, and I would feel so much better when I would come back home. So all that to say is through all that, um, I started to find fitness and an outlet for myself that really helped me um, channel all those things that I was feeling um, into something else. But as we know, uh, our demons are are kind of always there. I think uh, you can, <clears throat> they can go into hiding. You can do your diligence to keep them at bay. But as soon as you let your guard down, they can come back pretty easy. <clears throat> if you've ever been in any kind of situation like drug addiction or really any, any kind of addiction, you know that that's true. So fast forward to, uh, I had already had my, I got married. I had my first child. Everything was great. I had, I was pregnant with my second and delivery, everything went fine. But after I delivered my second baby, I started getting migraines immediately, horrible migraines. And I started to get prescribed Percocet, lots and lots of Percocet. As I'm sure everybody hears that word knows it's an epidemic in our country. So somebody who has a very addictive personality and the perfect storm, I was postpartum, I had postpartum anxiety. I felt very alone. I felt lost. I didn't know how to be a mom of two. And there were just so many things playing into it. And I let my guard down and the Percocet was right there to pick me up. Uh, it made me, once again, as, they, as, it, as it likes to lie to you, it made me feel like uh, I was a better mom. I was a better wife. I was a better person. I was more fun. Uh, everything just rolled off my back. Uh, nothing bothered me. And so there you go. I found my answer uh, instead of God. Again, I found my answer in something else. And it took over my life for a long time, uh, on and off. Um, I would get off of it for a little bit, get back on it. But it took over my life for a good seven years, eight years. Like I said, on and off. And so when I finally got off for good, 
which I'm happy to say I have been off of all drugs for over three, almost four years now. When I finally got off of the Percocet for good, I started into with fitness again. And I had been, I had been working out and still doing my stuff, but it, it was not as important to me. It just was kind of a more of a side thing. But as soon as I got rid of that, you know, somebody said something to me. It was actually my husband. He said, I was, I was wallowing in my depression and how could I be here? And, you know, how could I be this age and, and have two children and be in this position? He's like, get off your ass and go work out, go for a run. Just stop sitting there feeling bad. Sorry for yourself. And I was like, you're right. <laughs> like, seriously, what am I doing? Like, this has always been something that has helped me and made me in a better mood and just, you know, given me those endorphins and all those things. And so once again, I have found myself in this place of I got off my couch, put on my headphones and went for a run. And from that point on, once again, fitness just filled my life and became sort of, I don't want to say another addiction, but kind of another addiction. I want to say that it's a much better addiction than than other addictions that I've had. So, uh, you know, yeah, fitness just became a very important part of my life because it, well, that and God, of course, God was number one. He's who saved me. He's who got me through it all. <clears throat> He's who pulled me out. But fitness has been the one thing that I know I can do that pulls me out of my funks and, uh, and really brings me closer to God. Honestly, uh, when I work out, I, especially when I go running, I connect, I connect with God. And so it just, it has become so vital to my life. I feel it when I don't work out, I feel it. I feel myself start to go down those paths again of, you know, just paths that I don't want to go down. And so this is where the fitness comes in is that I have, I have been to a place where I, wanted to end my own life more than once. And I've been in a place of the deepest, darkest depression. And it's helped me so much, helped pull me out so much. And so I just want to share that. I want to share that with as many people as I can. I hope that this video reaches people out there who may still be struggling because especially with with Percocet and, and painkillers and things like that. I mean, there are so many people out there struggling with it right now. I want to be a light for people who may be going through something like that. And I want to tell you, like, bring it to the light. I promise you, I promise you people will be there to help you through it. I don't want to cry again, <laughs> but I promise you, you, it will get better. And I would love to help those of you who are even farther along and are starting on your fitness journey. Maybe you've had an eating disorder. Maybe you've had a shopping issue. Maybe you've had whatever it may be. Maybe you've just been sedentary and you feel depressed because you want, you, know, you want to change your life. Like I, I just want to help you. I want to, I want to be that, that light for you. Um, even just to, to talk to, you know, to message me and, you know, just be there. To help you. So one thing I can't stress enough to everybody is that just because I've, I feel like I've overcome this, at least for now, life is not perfect. Uh, there's still a lot of things I struggle with all the time. Being a mom of four, which let me add that in. I am a mom of four now. I have an 11 year old, an eight year, almost nine year old, four year old, and a almost 10 month old. So life is crazy. And sometimes, man, all I can do is just go work out to keep the sanity. And so honestly, I want to, I want to reiterate that I, I feel like that this fitness is a gift that I was given by God, that my passion for it and to share it with other people is my, is my gift. And that, and I want to share it with you guys. Um, I feel like God gave that to me to help me, you know, this was a very physical way for him to show me that he was there and that, and that he was going to give me something to help me. And so I really want to 
like share that with you guys. I want to share it with everybody that I possibly can and, you know, just give hope to you because I promise you if, if I can overcome what I've overcome, anybody can. This is my gift and I want to share it with you guys. So I really hope that you come along this journey with me. Um, I'm super green. I don't even have a ring light yet. <laughs> I mean, I'm like just starting this YouTube thing way late in life. I know that there are people, you know, way younger than me doing this, but that being said, I also have a lot of experience to speak from. And I just want to impart that. So I hope that you guys follow this journey with me. I hope that you um, can find hope, that can find light. And if you don't need anything like that, then you can just find a really cool place to come work out and get to know me and um, just find a safe place to hang, you know? So I can't wait to start this with you guys. And this is who I am. This is me, Anna. Yeah.